Okay, so second video, quick one. I have watched it. So we're going to call this Present Perfect Part 1. Keep this short and sweet, a little bite size. My marker actually ran out of ink. I was going to write something else in the pocket, but the art marker died. I thought, I can't, I can't write anything else. So today's lesson is going to be about this simple point of the Present Perfect. The first purpose of the present perfect is to talk about something that happened in the past and the actual time when it happened is not important and therefore it's not mentioned we don't mention it so if you want to know if someone again present perfect has done something did they do that thing did they read that book did they watch that film did they complete that assignment did they visit that country did they try that restaurant all you're going to, what you're going to say here, the question is going to be, have you, have you eaten at that restaurant? Have you read that book? Have you visited that country or that city? That's all you want to know. Yes or no. Have they done this thing? You don't need to know when did they do it, right? As, as, a, as a direct question, you don't need to ask them, when did you go? All right. Or indirect question. You don't need to know when they did it. Indirect question. I should do another uh, video on that. Actually, that's a good idea. So, um, Someone says, I have watched it. This is an example. You say, I've watched it, I've read it, I've watched that film, or I've watched that football match. And then the person would say, I watched it on Sunday, or I watched it last week, or I went there in the summer, or I, I, I tried that restaurant last month, or whatever, whatever it is. But the important thing is, the important thing to bear in mind here is that we don't use... The present perfect with a time expression. Let me say that again. We do not use the present perfect with a time expression. Unless it's for or since, which I'll do in a separate video. But we don't say, I have watched that movie on Sunday. I have eaten at that restaurant last week. I have visited that country last summer. I went to Medina, or I have gone to Medina, uh last weekend or whatever it is no when we have time expressions like last week last summer yesterday on sunday meaning last sunday or last friday whatever it is we use the present simple oh, sorry the present past uh, the past simple we use the past simple gotta be careful there use the past simple i visited that restaurant last week i went to that country uh last summer i tried that restaurant on friday and so on and so forth okay so that's that's the first thing we want to cover with the present perfect, okay? The present perfect, first purpose of it is to talk about something in the past and we're, we don't care about when it was and therefore we don't mention the exact time. We're just saying that it happened in the past and that's it. I have done that, he has gone there, we have finished it and so on and so forth. All right, so that's the lesson. Sorry, my markers run out uh, and has run out. There we go. Or has has run out, that's correct, yes, has run out, past participle, okay? So that, we'll go into that uh, next time. Uh, that's gonna be a, a final point here. Obviously, it's the verb to have with the past participle, not the past tense, okay? Uh, but we'll go into that in a future video. I hope today's uh, is clear. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.